Hello and welcome to another episode of Simply Pathology by Two Minute Doc. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon next to it so that you can keep watching all my upcoming videos without missing of any of them. In today's video, you're gonna see about Takayasu arthritis in just two minutes. Takayasu arthritis is inflammation of medium and large arteries and it usually involves the iota and its branches like subclavian artery, common carotid artery. It is also called as puzzler's disease. Now, why is that? We'll see that in a couple of minutes. Takayasu arthritis is more common in young Asian women and children. It is a granulomatous vasculitis. Granulomas are lymphocytic infiltration with giant cells. And as I told earlier, it, uh, it usually involves the aortic arch branches like subclavian artery and common carotid artery. It is called as pulseless disease because, as I told, it involves the subclavian artery which forms the predominant source of blood supply for the upper limb. So since the subclavian artery gets involved and affected, blood supply to the subclavian artery is compromised. So the peripheral pulses like a radial artery pulse is not felt in these patients or felt weakly. So that is why it is called as pulseless disease. And along with that, because the blood vessel to the upper limb is compromised, these patients can have severe claudication pain in the upper limb. And a supportive feature for the diagnosis of Takayasu arthritis is presence of more than 10 mm mercury blood pressure difference between both the arms. A young woman with absent peripheral pulses along with BP discrepancies between both the upper arms and along with that presence of arterial bruit in the carotid artery on auscultation are highly suggestive of a diagnosis of Takayasu arthritis. So the clinical features can be uh, based on the involvement of various vessels. The involvement of common carotid artery can lead to uh, syncope and stroke. Involvement of the abdominal aorta can cause abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting. Involvement of the renal artery can cause renal failure and hypertension. Involvement of the aorta itself can cause cardiac failure. And as we have seen already, involvement of the subclavian artery can cause upper limb claudication and absence of peripheral pulses. Treatment of Takayasu arthritis is usually corticosteroids. This is because we know that Takayasu arthritis is an autoimmune condition. So the mainstay of therapy for autoimmune, most of the autoimmune conditions is immunosuppression with the help of corticosteroids. You can watch more episodes of Simply Pathology here. And these are about the updates on my other YouTube channel which you might find helpful as well. The links of these will be provided in the description of uh, this video. And if you like my uh, work, consider sub supporting my channel by donating and joining the Cappuccino Squad. The link for this will also be provided in the description. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end. You can watch more videos by clicking on the links you see on the screen right here. So thank you once again for watching this video till the end. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.